We're now going to translate our library function f of x equals 1 over x. And we're going to start with the simple case of g of x equals 3 over x minus 2. And so what we're going to do is we're going to modify this so we can get it as close to this form as we can. And notice that in order for x minus 2 to be in here, that means we're taking f of x minus 2. So this says we're shifting 2 to the right in x. We're shifting to the right 2. So this is my new 0, 0. And normally we get a graph that looks like this. But now we've taken that graph and we shifted it. And then once we've shifted it, we're going to multiply everything up 3. So the normal graph, we have our horizontal or a vertical asymptote here. We're going to have a horizontal asymptote. That's not easy to see. Let's make it a little bit easier to see across here. Again, remember, we can't cross this one, but we can cross this one. Our normal graph is going to have a point at 1, 1, and minus 1, minus 1. And then it's going to have 2, 1 half, 1 half, 2. And so we get this graph that goes like this. And does the opposite on that side, and then it comes over and down. But now we have to triple these points. So instead of being at 1, 1, it's going to be at 1, 3, 2, 6, and a half. So let's see, that goes to 1 and a half, that goes to 3, and this point goes to 6. And so we get this graph that's now been stretched vertically, and the blue is our answer. We've now translated this graph for, by multiplying it by 3 and shifting it to the right 2. Well, what if instead we have something like 2x plus 5, so g of x equals 2x plus 5 over x plus 1. This becomes a lot harder to deal with, and so what we're going to do is we're going to start by doing, we're going to divide. And I'm going to use synthetic division, but long division would work just as well. Because what I want is to see this as 2 plus 3 over x plus 1. So the 2 actually gives me my vertical shift, and the 3 is going to behave like the 3 did on the last problem. And so we're going to get 2 plus 3, or 2 plus 3 times f of x plus 1. So we're going to shift left 1, and that puts an asymptote right here. And we're going to shift up 2, because that's what the plus 2 does for us. And then we're going to do that same thing with the 3. So remember, it was over 1, up 1 normally, but now it's going to be up 3, and up 6, and up 1 and a half. And so I get this graph right here, when I take into that vertical stretching, and then 3, 6, a half, and this is going to come over from this line, and it's going to come over. And notice, that's how precise I expect you to be. I don't, I'm not worried about whether this is shaped right. I just want to make sure that you're getting these points right. But that's how we translate f of x equals 1 over x.